Hello everyone. Okay, welcome back to English class. Okay. Uh in today's video, Mr. Richard would like to explain to you about your project. So, uh our project or your project for this term is going to be um making an infographic yeah so you are going to make an infographic about hobby because our topic is about hobby so uh, you are going to make an infographic about hobby so what are things that you need to know before you are going to make your infographic so First, Mr. Richard would like to explain to you about how to make an infographic. So, um, in this case, we are going to use um, in this case we're going to use Canva. So you may go to uh, Canva.com. Yeah. If you use computer or laptop, you can just go to your browser and uh, type canva.com but if you are using your phone you need to download the apps and then uh, start to uh, make your uh, infographic yeah so after uh, you got in to the home page like this that is a search column you need to um, Actually, there are many options, right? So, there are many templates here. But today, we're going to focus on infographic. So, we are going to find infographic, yeah? So, you need to type infographic like this, yeah? And then click. Okay. After that, there will be a lot yeah there will be a lot of examples or a lot of templates um, in here yeah uh, you can choose one of these uh, templates or uh, formats yeah so um, because today Mr. Jazz uh, you know give you the example so Mr. Richard probably uh, uh, will choose one of these templates yeah so uh, Mr. Richard for example Mr. Richard will choose this one yeah okay and after you click on the the templates that you want to use uh, the template will be like this yeah but don't worry if this is not like you know not your favorite color or not your favorite one you can change it so it's up to you so because this is your own project you can design it based on your uh, your um, your uh, interest yeah so um as I told you before that we are in this term our topic is about hobby so the title of um, this infographic or Mr. Richards uh, infographic is uh, in this case Mr. Richards is going to make an infographic about Mr. Richards hobby so there are three things that we are no there are two things that can consider as um, the elements that we have to put in our infographic so uh, the first one is that will uh, write the title of this yeah infographic yeah so uh, the title is going to be um, because my hobby is reading so mr. Richard or I am going to write about reading because reading is my hobby. I could just put, like, for example, reading 
comic or probably it could be um it could be something that related to like you know like reading yeah so guys don't forget to write your name yeah don't forget to write your name so in this infographic mr Richard is going to tell you about um why reading comic Yes, is interesting. So this, this is the first thing that uh, Mr. Rejap is going to tell you. And the second one is, um, I'm going to tell you um, tips. Yeah, I'm going to tell you about like four tip sorry for tips to make our hobby or to make my hobby fun and useful yeah so um you need to put your name right in this project right so all you have to do is click um text yeah right here and then uh you can pick like um, at heading or subheading yeah so i'm going to put this one and then i will put my name yeah, right here. For example, Richard 4A. So um, it is up to you. Yeah, you can design as you, uh, you can design your infographic. Yeah, based on your, um, your uh, hobby. And of course, uh, you can make uh, your uh, infographic uh, as good as you can. So. In the very first, in the very first um, uh, uh, part, Ms. Rita would like to share about um, why, yeah, reading is interesting, yeah, the reason. So. I'm going to explain a little bit why yeah so in this part mr Richard will uh, explain more about the reason yeah for example reading is interesting because okay you 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 are going to explain the reason yeah in this part okay and then the next one you are going to talk about the tips yeah so because there are four tips you're going to divide them yeah for example this one is going to be uh, tip number one tip one yeah so you're going to, um, to explain the tips yeah example number one um, we okay we need need to we need to read as much as we can so um, you can explain about tip number one Tip number two, or tip two, you all you will also explain about tip two, yeah. The reason right here, the tips why uh, 
under that under under uh, the the subtitle yeah so as uh, or subheading yeah this one subheading so you're going to explain about tip number two oh we have to yeah explain about your reason yeah and tip number three if you need more then you can um add more space yeah it is up to you yeah so um if you don't have uh any of this you can if you want to put like quotes or something that is okay um but most of all most of uh, most important thing is you can edit yeah you can change the color right here of the um, letter yeah yeah or, or the 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 sentence yeah you can change all the colors and after you finish working with your um infographic you need to download in form of picture yeah um mr Rita would like to see uh, the result in, in, in picture so you can download the the result after you download the result or after the result uh, downloaded successfully you need to go back to your google classroom yeah and then upload your result yeah for mr Regis. and mr Regis will see your um your uh, result and mr Regis will assess it yeah okay i think uh, that is all about how to make your project on uh, Canva and okay uh, Mr. Richard will see you again in the next video. Goodbye everyone and I hope you will get the best score.